Good morning. Please join in singing the first verse of number 449, For You Are My God. For you are my God, you alone are my joy. Defend me, O Lord. You give marvelous comrades to me, the faithful who dwell in your land. Those who choose alien gods have chosen an alien band. For you are my God, you alone are my joy. Defend me, O Lord. Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you joining us from the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Lourdes Mendez, the living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today, we celebrate this Mass for our own intentions, and especially for asking the Holy Spirit to give us wisdom, especially when we are dealing with some other things which we find may be very difficult to say no. So we ask the Holy Spirit to give us wisdom this time of Lent so that we can stand for Christ and not for our own gratification. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and father them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin to you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life, on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does 
prospers. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Bless us, the Lord. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise Blessed and honor Lord, to you, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, as the second day of our journey for Lent season, Jesus is open. He has put his agenda so clearly to us that the Son of Man is going to suffer greatly and die on the cross. Remember what was the reaction of Peter? Peter decided to take him aside and say, no, don't say this. And Jesus was so reacted in a very strongly way. Do we recognize that following Jesus as missionary disciples of Christ needs also perseverance and endurance. Needs also denouncement of our own cross and be ready to follow him. Every time I ask myself that day when I was ordained in 1989, and I remember it was Thursday, and it was 10.45. That's when the time the bishop finished his own blessing that they said that blessing that makes me who I am today. But that was just the beginning. I didn't know what is some of the things are happening in 35 years. But wherever I came to learn, it was just the beginning of my journey to follow Jesus. I remember I've shared with you, eh, you go, you think you have gone to United States of America in Cincinnati, Ohio, that you are going maybe to be uh, somewhere, and that just the first day you go there, the president is telling you, that you have your tuition fee, but you don't have the board and lodge. So where are you going to stay? So I'm giving you two weeks. So where are you going to begin with? Put your trust in, in God. And God's ways are not our ways. How did I manage? By God's grace. But that was not the end. There were another challenges also. So each day we continue to encounter the presence of God. Even at the moments when we see things are not going in our own direction. Come to Jesus. 
open up your heart, your, 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 your heart and ask Jesus, guide me and give me courage. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom. Wherever we make any decision, let us involve the Holy Spirit. Wherever we encounter any challenge, let us involve the Holy Spirit because he is the source of our lives. Our success is in the power of the Holy Spirit. And our defeat, if we realize, is also in the hands of the Holy Spirit. So when you do something and then you are not successful, don't lose your faith. The Holy Spirit is there. But welcome the Holy Spirit and let the power of the Holy Spirit make a difference in your journey of life. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, as we begin this journey of Lent, you have given us your agenda, and you are so clear to let us understand that when we decide to follow you, we have to denounce ourselves and be ready to take our own course and follow you. And for this, we pray. Amen. For our winter shelter guests, our friends at P A P I N Ministry, and all those helping with food and staying overnight to be blessed by the experience, we pray to the Lord. For our family, faith, families, and YOA youth and volunteers to encounter Jesus in the powerful way this Lenten season, we pray to the Lord. For each of us to use our Lenten journeys to draw closer to our Lord through prayers, fasting, and almsgiving, we pray to the Lord. For those going to Italy, pilgrimage, to prepare their hearts to encounter God and share God in a unique and special way, we pray to the Lord. For all those areas of the world where there is unrest due to war, including Ukraine, the Holy Land, Africa, and other areas, to receive God's peace, we pray to the Lord. For us to see as Christ sees, hear as Christ hears, and love as God loves, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings we set upon this sacred altar that bestowing on us your pardon our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is true, right, and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying on their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make us there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember, Lord Mendes, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in their hope of the resurrection, and all have died no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious, grant peace nowadays that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, so Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Bishop. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steady fast spirit within me. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Each one, he or she has its <coughs> own cross. Don't complain. Because that's what you have. I remember one time I shared with one of my friends, and he was complaining, and I took him to the nursing home. Mm -hmm. And when he went there, he came back and he showed the sign of the cross. And he said, Father, thank you for awakening me to see and embrace and be thankful for the gift of life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 449. For you are my God. For you are my God. You alone are my joy. Defend me, O Lord. You are my portion and cup. It is you that I claim for my prize. Your heritage is my delight. The lot you have given to me. For you are my God. You alone are my joy. Defend me, O Lord.